Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to discuss about an issue that I recently faced in one of my projects. Consider this scenario. There is a shared services VPC in your AWS account and then you also have an, another VPC that is called as uh, your dev VPC or test VPC or any other VPC and then we'll have another one also in our use case. Let us call that as prod VPC. And all of these three VPCs are connected to each other through VPC pairing now. So dev is connected to shared services and prod is also connected to shared services. Remember dev and prod are not connected because we don't want that to happen. So that is how the typical setup was expected by my client and all the jump boxes VSTS clients were all hosted on the shared services and they were deploying agents into my prod VPC and doing activities. And there was a requirement to get them connected to the internet also. That is any instance that is sitting in my production VPC need access to my internet. Likewise, any instance sitting in my dev VPC need access to the internet. So will this work really? That is my question here. So can the traffic flow from my prod VPC all the way to the internet? So we were pondering upon this issue and faced some difficulties on that. So today I'm going to leave you this question to all of you and I would like you guys comment on the section saying whether this will work if it works and why it will work and if it doesn't work why it will not work in the follow up video. I'll give you my solution for this problem and how we overcome this issue or how we solved it and how we got the traffic from production to Internet. Thanks for watching. I'll be looking forward to your comments. Have a nice day.